okay, boys, listen, this is something to empower you, right? And it's kind of messed up. But you know those girls who are like super pretty when you're young, right? In your teens, 20s, whatever. And they have super, like loads of options. They're dating all the like really handsome, muscular guys and stuff like that um, during that period of their, their life. But they don't actually get set with anyone. They're like enjoying that fun life. So they just keep bouncing around from guy to guy, bed to bed, um, holiday to holiday. And they don't really settle down. Um, it's a little bit tragic that they think that, I mean, this is not for everyone, mind you, but like, you know, you know, the guys I'm kind of like talking about, right? They don't just, that they just don't, eventually just don't settle down with someone. And it's like, next thing you know, they're in their like mid to late thirties and they still like, may, they may have parked that old attitude that served them when they were in their young 20s and towards late 20s but now they're realizing like actually the pool of men like who they want to be with is actually evaporating very fast they're getting snapped up they're getting like married married up they're getting like they're having kids they're moving on with their life they're going to the next phase of their life whereas that girl that you idolize so much who's like out here being a hoe in like her 20 20 kind of phase now all of a sudden She's on the she's on the catch up, like trying to find her man like ASAP and try and get married ASAP before like you know her whole body like system with her um, with her eggs and stuff like that. So she can't produce and stuff like that after a certain age. Like the body clock is real, like for for women. So they get into a like a bit more of a scarcity mode when it comes to like their mid to late thirties, right? And <clears throat> then when they're like towards their mid to late thirties and no one wants them. It's kind of like sad, really, because they were that young, popular, like fit girl back in the day, but now they're not like desirable or wanted by many people at all. Um, now, it's a bit of a like, it's kind of messed up because like, there's two ways of thinking about it, right? You can be like, all right, fuck these women, and just like, yeah, whatever. They like mess around with their twenties and whatever, and now. I'm here, I'm cool, I'm finding all these other people, that's that's great. You can do that, you can like do it in that way to kind of like think of yourself a bit more empowered or like put the power back in your court. But um, you could also see it, so there's two ways. You can use it as like almost revenge, like fuck these girls, whatever. Or you could actually use it to empower yourself to say like, you know what? This young 20 girl or like this mid 20 girl or late 20 girl right now, she thinks she's like in this like prime spot in her life and it will never end, but it will. Like, trust me, it will. So I am actually doing her a favor by going up to speak to her. Now, you can probably be shook like I was for a lot of my like uh, life when it came to like women and stuff and decide not to approach her and you live in regret for the rest of your life and you never know what could have happened, right? Or you just take the action and you approach her with the mindset that you're like doing her a favor because if you're watching this you're probably into personal development you're into self-improvement you're into like bettering yourself and becoming the like the man you're always destined to be or the man the man that you picture in your mind right the successful man the um athletic man the the wealthy man the man who has like a, a wife and kids and a family that love him and like people rely on him and all these different good things right you can kind of visualize that for your own life and you're you're probably taking steps to get there right you probably have like a side hustle right now alongside your job if you're watching this type of video <clears throat> and you know like without a shadow of a doubt like a young young confident man that you will be successful if you just keep going with what you're doing and on the trajectory you're, you're on you're not like coming home watching netflix every single day you're not like eating crap every single day you're not doing like all these um destructive things every single day you are actually taking positive steps to enhance your career and start a business get healthier um get better with women etc etc so have that in your mind when you go up to like speak to these girls speaking to girls is not like I was shook of it for a lot of the time, but once you get past like your first few rejections and your first like several um, approaches, you realize like you're actually doing these guys a favor because like eventually they will get old, people will forget about them, they will start to look desperate, um, the, the amount of people who want them will dr drastically decline. 
So by you approaching them now, coming as a young, ambitious, confident young man, you're literally saving these girls from a lifetime of loneliness and unhappiness. Now, obviously, this is not the case for every single girl. So, like, if you want to clip that clip up, <laughs> go for it, or whatever. But, like, um, just if you listen to this entire video, you can understand that it's like this is what's going to happen if you don't speak to these girls and they keep their like their complex of I am the most attractive girl in the party at this current state and it will last forever. You know it won't, especially with this video I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you it won't. So use this, give yourself permission to like take action now whilst you're in the mix of these girls and like prove and like show to them that this is literally a step, like a lifeline for them. And by being with you, it's only gonna better their life. <clears throat> this is just a little bit of motivation to kind of help you take that little step because you may be in that situation where you've never approached a girl before, you've approached a few and you've been rejected, bad, badly burned or whatever. <laughs> like we've all been there, bro. So um, you're not special, but also um, it's good you're actually like thinking about these type of things. But yeah, this is just to give you a little bit like a push and motivation to be like, you know what, actually, yeah, I do have some power. It's The power is not all with them. Because I, when I was younger in like, my early teens and like, like mid, uh, mid to late teens and um, early 20s, I was like, they have all the power. Like I put women on a pedestal. But once I've realized like, actually, I'm doing them a favor here. I have the power here. I know that my life is gonna go great and I'm kind of like inviting a select amount of them into my life. I feel powerful. And then they pick up on that new vibe of yours and the upward spiral continues rather than the downward spiral, you see? So look, I hope this video helped you, all right? But what I want to say as well is um, there's gonna be a link in the description below of my Calendly link, um, which is where I'm giving away free con like coaching calls. Um, it could be like 15 minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, an hour, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just doing it to kind of like gauge where my audience is at right now and kind of like help solve some of their problems because if you're a young man watching this, it's likely that I've been through your situation when it comes to this kind of like whole world of self-improvement, um, personal development and, and like dating and all these different type of like situations that come from being a young man. So if you like this type of content, if you like my vibe, if you kind of like think we're on a similar wavelength and you're also on like um, a self-improvement journey like for life and you want to make more self-improvement friends then yeah look jump on this call with me it'd be cool to like see who you are and um understand where you're at in life and then we'll take it from there but yeah there's nothing to sell you no i don't need your email i don't need your money or anything like that it's just like for now i don't know how long i'm going to do this just for now um this is what i'm offering just to kind of like see what you guys are saying so anyway i hope that helps i'll catch you in the next video